this is Stephanie March from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine and I am here at the new Fulton Brewery to give you guys a sneak peek inside tour before they open, show you some of the stuff that's going on and talk a little bit about beers for foodies. Okay, now I'm here with Brian Hoffman and we're going to talk a lot about the infusion process because that's something that Fulton has been doing at festivals, at bars. So Brian, why did you guys start doing infusions? So we started doing infusions uh, kind of for two reasons. One, uh, as a contract brewer for the last uh, a couple of years. Uh, we only had a certain amount of capacity uh, at Sand Creek Brewing Company where we've been brewing. So this was some way for us to kind of play with the beer on the back end and have a little bit of fun. And then two, it's something really fun for us um, to go into a bar or a restaurant and you know work with the chef um, and try to pick out some flavors and really kind of try and fine tune that beer uh, to pair well with a dish or an appetizer or something like that. It definitely seems like it's beer for eaters. You know, I think all beer is beer for eaters. Um, and I think that, uh, you know, people are realizing how great beer is to actually pair with the dishes. So what we ended up doing was we created a little setup here. Um, and this is just a Sankey coupler that will tap into the keg. And then this end plugs into um, a CO2 tank. Okay. And so the CO2 goes in and pushes the beer out of the keg. And this is the, um, actually the out valve for what is called a corny keg or Cornelius keg. Oh. And this is a soda keg, home brewers use them all the time, they're a great keg for that. So we can plug it in the out and then the beer goes and slowly fills up from the bottom. Okay. Now before we've done that, we'll take essentially a big tea bag and fill it with whatever we want. So here's a bunch of whole leaf cascade hops. Ooh. Sometimes we'll add some orange peel in with it, grapefruits, blood oranges, you know, kind of Whenever we talk about this um, with chefs, I'm like, you know, we're limited by your imagination. And so then this just goes in the corny keg, and then the beer fills up, and it steeps. The flavors are just infusing uh, into the beer. What beer would you infuse, and with what, if I was going to make a big pot of, like, chili? So a spicy chili. If it was bison chili? Yeah, bison chili. I'd probably do an IPA. If it's really spicy, I might even do it with... Um, like an apricot or something like that to kind of Ooh. cut through the spiciness with a little bit of a fruity flavor. What if I was just sitting at a campfire and eating a s'more? You should probably do uh, our worthy adversary, um, which is a Russian Imperial Stout mm. um, with possibly uh, some whole bean coffee. The stout is nice and rich and it'll pair great with any sweet dessert. Okay, well that's it. This is beer innovation at the forefront and I'm giving it to you guys straight from Fulton Brewery. Thanks Brian for all of your knowledge and this is Stephanie from Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine. You should check out our October issue on Stands Now.